How do you guys? So, I'm still crammed in here, but I can hopefully get some room back on my table and some other things down to work on because hopefully I can get this pretty much out of the way today. Apart from a couple of little things which I can add to later down the line, like possibly a couple of winches or something. I don't know, we'll just see when it comes to it. But for the moment, it is running spot on how I wanted it to run. So now it's just a case of the body, which I'd painted up last week and ceramic coated the other day. I'd say it's now ready to start putting everything back together and things like that. So what I've done this morning is I've gone through some leftover stuff and I've just been trying to alternate a few grand hauler parts to the king hauler parts. So it's having the original grill and air cleaners on there. I found a new set of um, lights for the fenders there. A couple of new lights for the roof. So it's just having the one at either side. Um, some air horns off a grand hauler. I just prefer the look of those over the king hauler ones. I don't think this will be getting it as rough as Rusty does, but we'll still be going out in the woods to be played with and stuff like that. I've left the grand hauler bumpers off just because of how low they ride, and I, I do want that little bit of clearance for the woods and things. So on there at the minute is a black bumper. So I'm just going to leave that for now, see how it goes with the black cap. Uh, but I do have an alternate one there in the Tamiya Chrome. And I've got the windows and stuff in here. I'm going to be swapping out the original headlights and putting in the Grand Hauler twin, little twin headlight looking things over them single big square. I really don't like them. But what I was originally going to do, if you remember when I said, I was going to cut them off and put Pete style lights on the grill. And I'd painted it and done it all and then it were like, damn. I've not done the arches, but not to worry, I've got another Grand Ola to build somewhere and there's always Rusty and a brand new Grand Ola in its kit in the loft, I believe. So I've got plenty of Grand ola stuff that I can do that on and show you there. So there is no loss, a few little bits and bats, not too much, but uh, I can get all this in there. And then another day I can come back and get the MFU in there separately. Um, really can't be bothered piddling about with that at the minute. I've got my daughter's video to edit up. Um, she's been doing science with potatoes. So we've been uh, experimenting with potatoes, creating our own electricity. It's not electricity, it's just like amperage voltage. So we come up with the idea that one day we are going to load a trailer full of potatoes all wired in sequence and see if we cannot power an ESC to power the motor just by using a trailer full of potatoes. It won't take one potato, it is going to take a lot of potatoes. It would be cheaper just to buy a LiPo battery and run for hours, but then that takes the fun out of it. For this one, I'm going to get um, this back together. Oh yeah. I decided against the uh, King Hauler visor and my wife said she liked the Grand Hauler one better. So we shall be using that one. And sometimes they do actually look quite okay without. But anyway, it's not really an instructional how to step by step thing in my what's it Bob. It's just going to be a uh, click put it together and then we can go out and play, see what it looks like. First thing I'm going to do with the cab is uh, get the grill on there. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I don't know why that McDonald's tune sticks in your head the way it does because I'm a Burger King guy. We'll just put that little screw in first just to hold it in place. Now I could use some brand new parts for this like a new grill and everything else but chances are going to get a little bit roughed up out in the woods and stuff and then there's the chance that I may start doing stuff black to match because I originally wanted an all black theme with it but once it were against the chrome and the shiny shiny, which I'm, I'm not always a fan of shiny shiny. I do sometimes like plain and simple. This just turned out originally not how I'd expected it actually turned out better to be shiny. It's the joys of the hobby though, isn't it? Everything's a trial and error. Screw up these light, light pods now. They are the grand hauler ones. They all go together dead easy. 
one windscreen. Which drops in there. And the dashboard with an upside down on top of there. That's all. Now the air cleaners. Now I'm not sure if to thread lock these yet. I've never lost an air cleaner before. Caramel coffee's gone cold. Oh, yeah. It's coming together. It's amazing how many times I get told that I can't do that with my truck. Yeah, but it's my truck. And I'll do what I want with it. And if driving them through mud and water makes me happy, then that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, I was unhappy with uh, how the paint turned out on this truck, by the way. Yeah, for the windows, it's going to sit in there like that. And then you're going to want your mirror. And when we put the nuts on the back of the mirrors, that'll also hold those windows in place. So this build was technically like nominated by you, the viewers, because I put a post out or a video when I was deciding what to build with leftover parts. And quite a lot of you commented that you wanted to see like a Pete Day Cab tri drive. And then when I added the custom coffin and give you all the choice between various sleepers, you all opted for this. Personally, I would have liked to have watched the truck build itself. But you all nominated for me to build a tri drive, so we did that instead. Maybe one day I will see one of these build itself. But for now, um, I must just carry on doing what I'm doing. Look at these stacks. I, I think I have a graveyard of these somewhere else as well, not just these. These are uh, when I take Rusty out in the woods. Honestly, some angles I try getting him up and he just goes topples off a rock. Boom, 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 boom. The amount of stacks that I have broken on Rusty is unreal. And the one that's on its now is probably on its way out. So I really should get on and repair these stacks. Luckily, for Rusty's sake, I have more. So I need to find those and just use them on this for now. I now have my truck kind of where I want it to be at the minute with the exception of a couple of glue on parts like these peaks that go over the lights sorry about the washing machine uh, the air horns the wipers the visor air horns yeah that's it basically because it's been freshly painted and ceramic coated I don't want to attack it with a strong solvent just yet so I'll give that a while but it does need the MFC or one still to be installed in there so I can do all that in one swoop and it saves stuff busting off when I'm installing the MFC. But for now, I've got it where I want it. So let's get it on the um, chassis. Woo! And I actually do like the chrome with the black. I think if it was a matte black and not like a metallic black with nice high gloss finish to it and stuff, then the black on black would work. I do think it's really just a case of like playing about with it now um, and deciding what I want to do with the chrome. So the fenders, they are just resting on the tyres at the minute. They would sit a little higher. Now, I wasn't too sure about putting those back on, but... Now I'm seeing them with the truck and the chrome, and I'm happy with the black and the chrome. I do feel they don't look too bad. So if I keep with the chrome, I'd be tempted to keep those on. And should I switch out the chrome to the black, then I'd probably ditch them. But it all seems to just flow just nice. But yeah, I've built this solely from leftover parts, recycled some of my old stuff which I had left over from builds and this is what I created if you've got a parts been lying around and it's just been accumulating over the years of building if you're a slightly more advanced modeler and likely to have stuff lying around then I recommend you go through have a rummage through all your stuff and uh, see what contraption you can come up with and build yourself a truck out of leftover parts Next time we'll uh, take it out and do some running with it and things like that. Uh, we'll see what it can tow and stuff. 
I do need to crack back on with my daughter's Scania, but the only problem is at the minute in England is the summer's coming and the weather's just gone so temperamental. You're getting blue skies and then it's raining and there's blue skies and it's raining. There's too much breeze. It's The condition is just not right and I can't be blasting a spray gun in the house. It's one thing setting up and putting a big fan at the door for aerosols and stuff like that, um, but to have a big compressor and a spray gun going, because I do need to hit that truck all in one swoop. So, I do want to get back on with that, should the weather allow me to. But yeah, for this one, I hope you enjoyed watching this truck just get created out of, well, bits really. So, I do thank you all again for watching. Uh, if you're not subscribed and you're new here, then do hit that subscribe button, ping the notification bell to keep notified. Feel free to share the video, drop a comment down below, and I shall catch you all in the next one. Ciao for now, guys.